is 20 degrees and this is 100% probably going to be the absolute last nice warm day. Not that it's warm, but it's not cold out. It's going to be the last day like this for like six months. <laughs> it's perfect out. 20 degrees. Then the forecast for the foreseeable future just looks very cold. Like I'm, I'm still in shorts. We got AC on. Today's going to be the last day for literally like six months. It will be freezing and snowy and everything in the next little bit. Snow's not coming yet, but like you guys, like I'm literally in shorts and a t-shirt. Like it's, oh man, winter's coming. It's okay. We're ready to hunker down. I just wanted to capture the last, the last little bit of summer slash beautiful fall before it gets really, 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 really cold. We still got a lot of leaves, but a lot, a lot has fallen though as well. I'm in Halloween spirit. This shirt is haunted. We got our almost black cat, our Halloween goodies, busted into some of them and chocolate chip cookies in the oven because we're bringing cookies to my mom because she's hosting a big party tonight. The cookies are done. It's not required to bring anything, but I like to always bring a little something. So mom's hosting a Halloween sleepover. If you guys have been around for a while, you've definitely heard about this before, but she hosts themed sleepovers for all the grandkids for every she has like Easter, Halloween, Christmas. I think those are the three that she does, Valentine's Day. She has games, they play bingo, they have prizes. They're all dressing up. So that's what tonight is. So I'll show you a little bit of what I can anyways. Look at mom's place. Oh, her little guy is there. Woo! Happy Halloween! Ooh, look at you, scary monster. Are we the first ones here? <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh. Wow. Grammy's busy finishing the sleepover <laughs> stuff. Can I see guys? You guys look good. Ooh, are these all prizes? Yeah, I'm, I'm dressed up as Noah right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the back seat with a newborn. <laughs> we went with Pizza Hut and we got lots of pizza for the party. And they gave us two free full size bars. She was like, Happy Halloween. These are wings. We got some fun pizzas. I'll show you. But look at all that. Doesn't that look yummy? We got all sorts of flavors. Look at this. No, they're extra large, as you mean. Jacqueline, your anal leakage pills. Are Already awesome. showed. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Woo, this looks like quite the party. She even. Aww. That's so cute. She got all the cookies. First game's about to go down. Instead of an Easter egg hunt, it's try to find the eyeballs. Yeah. You got each kid a bucket? I think. Aww. No, I see one eyeball. right here this bottom one right here where those cars are that was trevor and i's first apartment oh yeah park right next door that's where we moved when we first got married but fun fact i want to show you something drive down this way i'll show you where we got engaged sorry that it's dark guys but it is what it is <laughs> trevor and i got engaged <laughs> in this apartment Oh, I don't know if you can see it. The third floor. The third floor at the top. It's dark right there. Not this one, but the one above it right there. We got engaged up in that apartment building because when I first met Trevor, this is where he lived. It was right up there. And then me and him got an apartment, but I just showed you down that way. 
can keep going, Trevor. We got to show them the That's full. House. That, house that was never there. brand new. That was never there. <laughs> Down this way. <laughs> we, we, we lived in every building. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. Down this way is where I lived. Like, look how close we were together. So Trevor lived in that building I just showed you that we got engaged in. I lived this way. That, look at that. Wait, that was not that. there. <laughs> that was not there. Look at it, look at it. Like That's new. Calvary. Wow. And this is where I lived. <gasps> is there a deck? There's a deck. <gasps> they got a deck? Well, there's one sitting out and I can't show you guys. But that window there was my... This window there was my bedroom. That was my bedroom window. And that's where I lived. So I lived in this building. Let's take them another loop around. I can't believe they have a deck. They have it made. When did they get that? So this is still my building. So me and Florence, we lived in here. Isn't that so funny? Me and Florence... Well my parents did too so me and Florence lived with my parents in this building okay Trevor lived in this building right there this white one that I'm pointing at that's where Trevor lived <laughs> this one right here sorry not that one this one Trevor lived in here and then we got married and moved into I'll show you just like for reference like so so are they all getting patios so Trevor was up here, and then we got this apartment. Maybe we walked stuff over. I know we used to walk. Oh, so cute! Me and Florence used to walk down, and then me, Trevor, and Florence moved into this apartment right here. We're only really there for five months. We no, we were here for wait July, August, September, October, November, December, seven months. I'm also gonna show you guys where I grew up. So from ages one, slow down Trev. It is, okay, the next next one here. From ages one to 17, this house right here. I know you can't see it because it's dark, but my dad built the deck. You guys can't see it. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, this is where I used to live, guys. And my bus stop used to be right down there. It was. It seemed like a really far walk at the time. It's too dark to see anything, but this is where I grew up. Hey guys, it is the next day, and I have officially completed my own little version of Vlogtober. I did a sneaky little challenge with myself, and it was like a little thing I put at the end of one of the videos at the beginning of October, saying I was going to challenge myself to upload every other day in October because. I wanted to get myself on some sort of like uploading schedule, but life was a bit more difficult at the beginning of the month. So I didn't want to commit to like every day and I didn't want to burn myself out before Vlogmas. And, but I knew the routine and structure of doing YouTube would be really good for me. And it really has been. And I just kind of like snuck it in at the end of a video and was like, just so you know, this is what I'm gonna try. But like, if you didn't make it to the end of the video, those people will never know. So like, no pressure on myself, like that sort of thing. So anyways, I did it. I didn't miss a single upload. I uploaded every single even day of October. So that was really fun. Might be something I continue to do in the future, like do it now and again. I don't know, it was really good. It was not in the least bit stressful or felt like a lot it was a really really good schedule so that's kind of nice to know but i mentioned this in another video and i will say it again but i am slowing down in november because i'm going to be getting ready and gearing up for vlogmas i have a brand deal that has to go up in the beginning of november so that will be probably the next video you see then i have um nothing else planned <laughs> so i think I don't want to just like not upload because I love uploading and I love like I don't like when I have big gaps like I've done this before in the past where I don't upload much in November and then I go straight into vlogmas but then when I look back on my videos I wish that I would have kept you know the routine of filming and capturing the month of November so I don't want to completely just go away so I, I'm probably going to just you know record bits and parts of certain days 
and just put them all into a video and then maybe post once or twice a week maybe once i i don't know there's gonna be no schedule but i don't want to just disappear so i am going to be capturing little bits but it'll be more like bite size of things that i want to share with you guys and that i want to look back on so that's what's going to go on for november because i have a lot to do i do a lot of my christmas like a bulk of my christmas organizing and planning buying everything in november and i don't vlog like when i'm buying people because i don't know who watches my videos and stuff like that although trevor does not watch my video so i always share with you guys what i end up getting him but yeah so i'll take you guys along with me in november but it'll just be like very sparse uploads but i'll still be here so just so you know the every other day schedule is ending today but i had a really fun time doing it and i definitely think i'll do it again in a different month like it was it was really good Anyways, that being said, it is the last of spooky vlogs. Not that I was ever spooky, <laughs> but I'm so excited. Like it is Christmas soon and I'm just ready to get into that and share that part of my life with you guys. I go all out for Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. We love it around here. And I always like inviting you guys into our little nest and like see us how we celebrate Christmas and I absolutely love that. And anyways, it's almost time. It's almost time. So today's Sunday. We're going to mom's for Sunday dinner. Trevor's actually taking the kids and some of their friends to a haunted barn that's here. And it's supposed to be like really good and like super spooky and all the things. And I'm just not doing it. I did Halloween Horror Nights last year and I literally like you guys i was so scared if you guys seen those vlogs like you would see like that was me genuinely scared like it's not like a fun scared it's like a like no i'm like i'm in like i'm not i don't feel safe like i am not good <laughs> like i was scared i went through the house one of the houses it was the first house i went through and actually went through with liz and florence and i was the leader of our group so I was the first one going through the house and I was so scared. I literally grabbed on to the woman in front of me. Like I grabbed her in, in fear because I everyone was behind me. So my natural instinct was just grab someone and just be like, help. Like, oh my gosh, like truly scared. And this girl was like, ah, like, because the people in the houses, like the actors, the scare actors, they don't touch you. Like they're not supposed to be touching you and stuff. So everyone knows that right so like she's going through this little like house and like you're all lined up going through and then someone grabs her can you imagine how scared that was that would have been for her i was so embarrassed <laughs> it's like i am so sorry i'm just so scared <laughs> anyway so i don't love haunted houses <laughs> so but this barn is supposed to be like really crazy so florence is gonna let me know if it's like scarier than the ones we did at halloween horror nights or if it's like lame and like you know so She's going tonight with Trevor and all them and Alex is going and I'm not. I'm skipping it and I'm happy about it. I have no interest in doing that. I have at least pissed because I shut the door. I shut the door because like it's loud out there. Trevor has a t TV going. Alex is playing a video game. <laughs> Anyways, we have a, I have a lot planned for this week coming up. I, yeah, I gotta make a list. Anyways, I gotta open this door. Ellie is pissed. Here is my little starter. She is almost two weeks old. No, she is two weeks old. She's two weeks old. Uh, she's like really slow today because it is so cold today. You, yesterday, because if it's warmer, she'll rise and fall quicker. And you know, she's more active and happy, but it's just really cold in the house. Yesterday was so warm. I showed you guys it was like 20 degrees. Today it's like five. Like, we put the heat on today for the first time since last winter. We have it off now, though, because it was like, I was like, oh, like, I'm just, like, so hot all the time. Like, it's just, <sighs> I had to go inside. I was like, I need a cold shot. I was like, this is so hot. I don't know what we're going to do this winter. Everyone's, like, freezing. I'm hot all the time. Like, what do we do? Why did I come on here? Oh, I haven't baked bread in a couple of days because I ended up pretty sick from the flu shot and the covid shot so that night that i ended the vlog remember i was like i'm just gonna end the vlog because like i'm starting to feel like crap i ended up getting a fever i cannot tell you the last time i've had a fever 
I have no idea. Like, it's been probably, I don't even know if I had a fever when I had COVID. Like, I had a lot of other things going on, but I didn't think I had a fever. Like, I never get fevers. And I ended up getting a fever. I had, it felt like the life was knocked out of me. I just was like, pfft. like, it just hit me. Like, at the, around the 24 hour mark from the time we had our needles, that's when it was really like, I had a high fever. I was just so sore, tired, like, just like, I had to go to bed. Like, it was so awful. You don't have to pause the TV, honey. It's okay. Right. He's watching football. Uh -oh. Um, And Florence and Alex, they both had the exact same symptoms as me. They ended up getting fevers. We all got our fevers at the same time. Florence was like a little, like an hour after us. Me and Alex had the exact same. Me and Alex were like identical. Florence was like a little hour behind us. <laughs> We ended up getting fevers. We were so like, what's going on? I even tested us for COVID because I was like, is this just really bad timing? Like we ended up getting like our little COVID needle and then like, but we actually had COVID. You know what I mean? So like tested us for COVID because we felt so bad. Not COVID. Um, and then the very next day, completely fine. <laughs> like as if nothing happened. So I'm guessing it was a reaction from the flu and COVID shots, but like, it knocked me like I haven't felt that way in so long so I haven't been now I'm like my bread schedule's off because I was just like I can't be making bread <laughs> I'm so sick so anyways that's what I want to tell you but my starters went really good a few of you guys messaged me and showed me your starters you guys are starting starters too and I'm so excited it's really fun um but tomorrow I'm going to start up the bread cycle again because I fell off it with being like ill or feeling like I was ill or whatever. My little starter, she's doing good, but she's cold. So she's taking a long time to rise, but that's okay. And I only have one now. I ended up with, like I was having, like I had a few starters on the go. I just have one now. <laughs> you don't need multiple. <laughs> I learned that. I thought you needed, no. If I want two, I can just divide that in two. You know what I mean? Like I just don't need to have two on the go. So now we're down to one. I'm still learning. Yesterday we we're in shorts. Today he's got a winter coat on. He made me. He needs a new one. <laughs> My goodness. <gasps> no more shorts. It is freezing outside. Ooh, are we taking your car? Yeah. Okay. Still rocking the Crocs though, guys. Still rocking the Crocs. I have noticed something about myself. When I'm seeing vlogs of people who are already receiving snow where they live, I'm getting excited for snow. I've never in my life, you guys know if you've been around, how many times have I said, I hate the snow? If I won the lottery, I would move to a place that had no snow. I'm actually excited for snow. That's the first for me. Did you hear? You guess what? Well, I'm excited for snow this year. I'm not. Happy Sunday! Hi. Oh. I'm here. Woohoo! He's, He's back to Sunday dinner. Things are back to birds. normal. My uncle's back to Sunday dinner, guys. We picked him up. Woo! Mom, this looks really good. What is it? Homemade? Yeah. What's it called? I've never made it before. Pistachio. Pistachio? Yeah. Squares? Yeah. What's the green stuff? Pistachio. No. What? Like jello? Yeah. Pistachio jello? Wow. What is it really? It's pistachio jello? Yeah. No, it's not. It is. Do they sell pistachio jello? Yeah. yeah. Where? Everywhere. Showbies? What's, what's the bottom layer? Homey crust. Okay. We are back home and. I think I have to go through our closet and bring out the winter hats 
and gloves and mitts and all that stuff because it is it's so cold tonight and tomorrow it's calling for like even colder today than today and Alex is wearing his winter coat today. It does not fit him. Like I have to get him a winter coat like ASAP. He grew so much. Florence, do you have a winter coat? Um, Yours probably still fits, say. Eh? Yeah. Florence is fine. Alex needs a new winter coat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like it just went from like this. I'm getting a video call. I don't know who that's from. <laughs> I'm like looking at the notification. Anyways, I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to bring out all of our winter hats and gloves and stuff like that. And then I might pop into the dollar store tomorrow and see what they have for like gloves. I buy so many like cheap, literally dollar gloves because the kids, I don't know if they will now that they're teenagers, but like when they were little, like they would always lose gloves like we went through so many of them so i always would buy like 10 <coughs> pairs and then there's always a pair whenever people are looking for them to wear so anyways thinking it loud to you guys but i'm going to end this video here thank you so so much for hanging out with me this whole month of october i hope you guys have a happy safe halloween and i will be back at christmas November, November 1st is Christmas though. No, I don't know when I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back in a couple of days, but uh, yeah, it'll be Christmas. We're so excited. The tree's going up next week. You guys will see that. I'll take you guys along for that. Um, but I hope you guys are well. Have a wonderful Halloween and I will see you guys really, really soon in my next video. Bye. Cause you're my sweetheart.